And that's what you get trying to harmonize over uh, the internet. Um, I'm Braden. I'm Zell. I'm Tan. And I'm Andrew. It's kind of a last minute power hour because we were supposed to have Ben Bolin on, Benny but I Boy. guess uh, I guess Bolin they found instead. out they found out that he wanted us to know some stuff. Hold him, <laughs> hold him, hold him. Uh, right? He boarded a red eye flight. Yeah, red eye. He's probably not coming back. Yeah, got too close. I bet that plane crashes. <laughs> kidding. Just kidding, Ben. I'm sure he's fine. We'll, we'll reschedule. We hope. Uh, yeah, so in, so because we didn't have any planned, um, power hour instead. Yeah, we're just going to talk about our feelings. Yeah. Round table session. I have a lot of problem with you people. <laughs> and you're going to hear about it. It's airing our grievances. It's first we're having, Festivus. We're having Festivus. Yeah. Festivus yeah. started already? Yeah. yeah. The, I got a my fucking favorite. bar over there I can lift. <laughs> one, <laughs> one, of my, strength. <laughs> one of the best comments uh, someone wrote on one of the videos on YouTube is like on the one that said, dance back. And it was like, you're like. You're like, I have returned. Someone commented and said, I missed the old Dan. <laughs> pretty good. I thought I was like, that's a good jab. That was funny. So there's some good, good comments. Um, but yeah, let us know. You enjoying our shorts and stuff that we put out. Let us know if you like those. We'll keep them coming. Seems like they're getting tons of views. So, you know, hopefully uh, get some more, I guess it's some more listeners. Uh, for the or holidays, some watchers at least, or some watchers, whatever. Both. We're making the our five dollars and seventy eight cents off YouTube this month. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. Yeah. Breaking in the big dough. Money. Um, <laughs> I was thinking about the Carl Higdon or the Zamfredo case, and uh, both of them um, <laughs> at the same the time. Case, at the same time. Say, yeah. Say you get <laughs> like, say you guys tomorrow night, like you go out, let your dog out or whatever. You get picked up. Right, some giant green men with drill hands come out, grab you, uh, nope. and take that's away. And, uh, that's yeah, well, I'm just saying it's gonna be difficult for them when they have, they have right. drill hands. Like, drill they got drill yeah. fists. <laughs> One guy has drill, drill fist. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then you know you wake up, you wake up in the morning, or a couple hours later, just face down in the grass. Like, what? What's your next step? What? Like, what? What do you think you guys would do in that situation? Like if I woke up, I'm, I blacked out. I'm on the ground. Yeah, like you remember you're seeing prone something, on the ground, and you're prone on the ground, and you're like, it's like t- two and a half hours later. I would unclench my ass cheeks. <laughs> I think it'd be instinctively yeah. just you. You would check. You would check yourself out. Quick check. Start the yeah. back. Work your way up. Oh, you check your wallet, cell phone. You know, and usually stuff that you check. <laughs> they rob us. A heavy night of drinking. <laughs> but like, normal, if you're convinced, you're normal convinced after you're like, you're like, so you remember. I, you you're remember like, I had. A, you're like, well, you remember seeing something. You're like, I saw something, and then I saw a bright light. Then I woke up face down. Like, who do you tell? Like, knowing what we know and how people are ridiculed and and where this kind of goes, like, what are your steps to try to make sure that if you knew this was a 100% encounter, what are the steps that you take to try to make sure that... Well, first of all, I'd have to take steps towards re- fucking repairing my marriage as to why I fucking disappeared for a night and didn't call anybody or let them know. <laughs> that one, I wouldn't. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, UFO? Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why are you limping? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm running. To, I'm running to the top ropes. I'm screaming on the podcast right away. I'm telling everyone. I'm getting yeah. the news out right away. I'm t- I'm calling the news networks. I'm doing the full tour. Yeah, I would right away. I'm doing the full myself. tour right away. I'd convince myself I was a werewolf. I'd be like, it's only an explanation. A wolf no. <laughs> because not, because if no it does way happen, I got to you. fucking probed. Nope. It's gonna deny till you die. Oh yeah. If, no, but say if you if you want to be believed, you gotta get the story out right away. Like this happened yesterday. You wake up, you either try and write it down or record it, put it on the podcast, get it out there right away. So there's the gaps in your story are minis- minimal at, at best. Yeah. yeah, see, I think I do the same. The hard part for me is like getting the story out there, and because one of the things that I think I would try to do is I would try to share my story and my experience as much as can without directly i wouldn't want it i would try as much as i could to not directly monitor like get money from my story 
So, but you know, he'd be sitting out, he'd be outside waving a fucking jar with a sign, being like, "Hey, I'll give me a dollar. I'll tell you my story and tell you my you have so no, I'd have some merch though for sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, you got to support yourself in your uh, in your career to get the truth. In your endeavors. I yeah. mean, if to make money on the the uh, the alien abduction circuit now, you have to at least publish a book. At least you have to do that. Like, no, we're gonna publish, we're gonna publish a really in. good. We're gonna do an audio book, Dan, of, of the. Sure. So yeah, so you yeah. got to publish some type of media to get your story out there if you really wanted to, <laughs> well, if you potentially wanted to capitalize. Well, a podcast on it. is media. Yeah, I mean, you get paid for podcasting. You get out there. And then you next step, we get our own like alien fire fest. We could have somewhere <laughs> in the field and Braden's parents' property. We can have it there. Yeah. No toilets. Everybody yeah. gets shitty sandwiches and yeah. you know, may not get attacked by wild dogs or coyotes. Oh yeah. man, I saw that story hey. about fucking Canadian coyotes are like hunting moose now. Like they analyze their behavior well, or something. Yeah, they, so they found. I think I can't remember when it was. It was like 2019 where that uh, that musician from BC she got killed by coyotes and it was like the first time in North America where there's been like a or there was a there was a, a toddler attack. that got eaten. There was a toddler that died in the 80s from a, a coyote, and this is the first time like a grown adult was murdered by coyotes and so they've been studying it for the longest time to figure out like why this happened and like dan's saying yeah they they were starting to evolve to hunt big prey because there's Fuckers. no other prey they've been modifying their behavior Dude, to, to hunt well, moose, they, and then well, they see, they could potentially they say they potentially could start seeing hikers and they may have seen well, they her have. as a source of food yeah like Dude, easy dan, prey dan in in <laughs> there's a park in vancouver Stanley Park, and this park is surrounded. It's not like this park's attached to other parks. It's surrounded by city, and there's coyotes that live One in this of the park. Biggest cities in the province. Yeah. Not and only is it surrounded, but so it's yes, it's surrounded by Vancouver, but the, on the other end of the park, which that doesn't connect to the woods, it just connects to a huge bridge, and they walk yeah. across the bridge and live in the park. Yeah, and they've started. They started to attack people in the park. They closed the park and for a bit. They, they had to close the park, and they're like, "Sorry, we have to kill all the coyotes." Yeah. Because what I want to know is, like, we had a we had a evolving. coyote attack here. Like, how do we? Like, so okay, weird. so like, if you don't know how big of like, I don't know if most people listeners have actually seen a moose in real life. Huge. They're, huge. they're like a fucking it's dinosaur. It's like yeah. literally, they're fucking gigantic. So I'm wondering, like, these coyotes. Fucking, I mean, they're, yeah, they're stuff out of the ice age. But like, here's my question: Like, do these coyotes? Do they like? Do they kind of go like Voltron and combine to make a bigger coyote to take out a fucking moose? Down. Like, how the fuck does it um, take out a moose? I, I, I think it's more they take the babies. Well, well, some of the, it's like uh, I some of the reports think, no, were full grown, full grown moose. But it would like, like like mooses. mooses. It wouldn't be any different than like wolves, where they, it's like yeah. they they just keep chasing. They're persistence and then, predators and yeah. attacking the back of the legs to the point where they so can't they bleed walk. out. They tire out. Or they, I know, but very out. rarely do. So they play a long game. But yeah. very rarely do they moose hunt like a, a huge moose. They would hunt the, the sick, the small, the weak. Yeah, the you, you, they yeah. ate a woman. That's fucking crazy. It's like, crazy. I, they're like my dog's bigger than a fucking coyote. Yeah. Uh, so dude, they do like a I saw some weird pictures shit. of coyotes that are getting get pretty big. <laughs> yeah. well, dude, <laughs> Not the ones I remember we have when, here I, when I lived in West Kelowna and we would take my dog Roxy at the time out there, a coyote would sit in the bush and it would like yip. It would like yip at the dog. But Someone's there was play. other coyotes waiting in the wings. Oh, they're waiting, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? And as Fucking the dog would they'd come flying out at her. And then as she'd run, there'd be more that, like, try to cut her escape off. And you'd be running with sticks, like, screaming, trying to, like, scare them away. And yeah, it's like, yeah they're, they're evolving to kill us. We're next. Gosh. <laughs> oh, but I can see you out there with your stakes banging, and the next thing you know, you're you're fucking corner by them. There's a clever yeah. girl. Clever yeah, girl. Yeah. 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 Shredded. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like that's it. <laughs> and then once Isn't they it? once they forge a, a symbiotic relationship with uh, Sasquatch, and it's all over. Game over. Well, it's Time. crazy too because coyotes. Was, I think it's only coyotes and rats are the only animal to like thrive with human expansion. Like coyotes, coyotes, coyotes <laughs> only used to be in like a small percentage of North America. And now they're everywhere in every region, every suburb, every woods. They just follow us around. We can't. In our, well, not I mean, wild cats, though. Like, there's like no, domestic like, wild... cats? Plenty of stray cats. Domestic. Yeah, but they're not they're living in the woods. Like, they're not... Yeah, they're not like a... Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10-minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut 
and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.